Next on stage from Israel will be Sally Ross Bihari from Enosh. Hello, everybody. My name is Sally Ross Bihari. I'm the Director of Professional Excellence for Enosh, the Israeli Mental Health Association. We are a nonprofit organization who provides community services and promotes the rights of people with psychosocial disabilities. This morning, Caroline Casey, we're talking about a conference of the heart. Mine is beating like crazy now. And I'm inviting yours to beat, me, to beat with mine. Four years ago, we decided to go on a life-changing journey. I'm, proud, I'm very proud to present Seeds of Change, a training program on sexual trauma and psychosocial disability, breaking the double bind of silence. I want to start with a very strong number, 50%. 50% of women with psychosocial disabilities are victims of sexual assault. I want to share a little story, the story of Anat. Anat was 42 when I met her. She has been diagnosed with schizophrenia. She heard unbearable voices and no medication helped. It seemed like she was okay, but actually she was just functioning. Till she met her counselor, herself a survivor of sexual assault, that started asking questions. Eventually, they both understand that the voices that Anat heard were not schizophrenia voices. They were reenactment of the trauma that she had suffered. And actually, she was living her trauma over and over again, and they understood why the medication didn't help. You cannot medicate trauma. We found that staff in mental health services are lacking the knowledge and the experience of sexual trauma, and they are looking for the right toolbox. So we created Seeds of Change. It's a modular training program for staff in the mental health services that provide a safe environment to explore their attitudes toward this double bind of silence. How does it work? It's a psychoeducational process on issues such as sexual assault, childhood abuse, healthy sexuality, and trauma-oriented recovery. When staff is trained through the lenses of sexual trauma, they become more aware of the inherent barriers of the system and the needs of the beneficiaries. It's a joint journey that both the staff and the beneficiaries are walking together. So what did we achieve in our solution? We see two levels of impact. One is professional and the other one is personal. What we see now is hundreds of staff members trained and thousands of people provided with trauma-informed care. On the personal level, where trauma-informed services is implemented, we see reduction in symptoms and decrease in hospitalization. We work towards continuity of services and partnerships with other professional organizations, all towards zero barriers. You can bring this change to your own organization. We offer training packages for all kinds of needs. We look for organizations waiting to replicate trauma-informed services. Come and join us. Join our journey by collaboration or by investing in our ongoing process. I'm inviting you all to come to see us in the impact transfer area. Thank you very much.